Hello and welcome to Over the Garden Fence. My name is Ron Allen. I'm a University of California Master Gardener from Mariposa County. We are located in the central Sierra foothills of California. Uh, some of you may not know who Master Gardeners are and what we do. We are university trained volunteers that provide research-based information and education to the general public on sustainable landscaping, fruit and vegetable cultivation, pest management, and horticultural practices in general. So today we're going to take a virtual tour of the native California milkweeds found in southern Mariposa and eastern Madera counties. Uh, the pickup truck is already dinged and dusty. I've got a, a hat, sunscreen, and bug spray on. Let's get started down the dirt roads of Mariposa and Madera County looking for native California milkweeds in the Asclepius genus. Thanks for coming along. Welcome to the uh, milkweed tour of Mariposa and Madera counties. Uh, the first specimen we're looking at here is on Oak Grove Road in far southern Mariposa County. This is a narrowleaf milkweed. The scientific name is Asclepius fascicularis. You can identify it by uh, the white clump of flowers at the top of it. The plant arises fairly late in the spring and when most other plants in the summer are beginning to turn brown and die off, this plant uh, is quite green and noticeable. I picked this plant uh, for the first stop on our tour because it's a little bit unusual for a narrow leaf milkweed. It has faintly pinkish purple flowers. Uh, normally they're uh, creamy white uh, you can identify it by the the leaves that are attached uh, in uh, groups of three, four, or five near the stem. Uh, they're, uh, it's called whorled leaves. And the important thing about the narrow leaf milkweed is that it is the uh, primary host plant for the monarch butterfly caterpillars. The monarchs only lay their eggs on Asclepius genus milkweeds. The butterflies themselves will gather nectar and feed off of other, other flowers, but the caterpillars themselves only survive by e eating the foliage on Asclepius genus milkweeds. Uh, narrow leaf milkweed grows throughout the western United States and it is the primary uh, Asclepius genus milkweed that supports the, the monarch butterfly caterpillars. Then we'll take a look at some other uh, specimens of narrow leaf milkweed throughout the tour and uh, look for this plant along roadsides, uh, Triangle Road down here on Oak Grove Road, in drainages on hillsides, and we'll talk some more about the uh, narrow leaf milkweed and visit some other plants that are within its same genus later in the tour. Here's a more typical narrow leaf milkweed. This is just next to the roadway on Warman Road and off Highway 49 South in Mariposa County. Uh, white flowers, whorled leaves, right next to the road. And here's a kind of a close up of the flower clusters on this Asclepius fascicularis plant. Hosts a lot of insects. They're getting pollen off of the flowers and uh, distributing it. They also uh, get nectar from the flowers, although it's not the richest source of nectar for insects. Here on Old Toll Road in Mariposa County, uh, just within the Detweiler Burn Scar area. There's uh, quite, a, quite an extensive patch of narrow-leaf milkweed, Asclepius fascicularis. Last year, about this time, I saw four monarch butterflies in this area, but so far, so far this year, I haven't seen any at all. The, uh, you might wonder about the genus name. Uh, Asclepius uh, for these plants. 
Asclepius was the Greek god of medicine. Well, um, why is the uh, genus name Asclepius used for a plant whose uh, milky latex inside it is is toxic? The answer is the the dose makes the medicine. Uh, in small doses, uh, these plants were used to treat uh, congestive heart failure. The toxin inside the plant, the cardiac glycosides, make the heart beat more slowly uh, but more strongly and that is uh, uh, th th that that's what you need to do in order to get rid of the uh, uh, congestive heart failure. It's also used to treat epilepsy. Uh, Van Gogh was treated by a French a uh, herbalist named Paul Gachet for his epilepsy using the foxglove plant, uh, another member not in the Asclepius genus but in the dogbane family to which the milkweeds belong. Uh, this plant has very tough fibers and Native Americans used uh, the f fibers from the milkweed genus uh, plants to make cordage. Real nice, real nice patch of narrow leaf milkweed here on Old Toll Road. Now I'm on Triangle Road looking at a second species uh, of Asclepius genus milkweed. This is a showy milkweed. This plant is about five feet six inches tall, comes right up to my nose, just about, and its leaves are large, the size of your palm. Tends to grow in wetter areas, uh, which distinguishes it from the other five Asclepius genus milkweeds found in Mariposa and Madera counties. Uh, no secret as to why it's called showy milkweed. The great big palm sized leaves, the large tall stalks, and these round pink purple flower heads uh, really distinguish this thing from the other other members of its genus. A uh, really nice plant growing here adjacent to a culvert on Triangle Road. There's some young plants around it and uh, it too is a host plant for the monarch butterfly caterpillar. Fairly toxic like the narrow leaf milkweed. Contains the same alkaloids, the cardiac glycosides that the uh, monarch caterpillars eat. They become toxic themselves. Predators such as birds and mice avoid the feeding on the monarch caterpillars. Later when the caterpillars turn into butterflies, the butterflies themselves uh, contain this toxin. They're brightly colored and predators to the butterflies such as birds will avoid eating the monarch monarch butterflies. So the cardiac glycosides within the plant are the key to the relationship between the monarch butterfly, its caterpillars, and the Asclepius genus milkweeds. Really nice plant. I'm on Indian Peak Road in Bootjack looking at a nice patch of showy milkweed uh, situated along a, a drainage inside the uh, barbed wire fence of a cattle ranch. Uh, you might wonder the uh, uh, milkweeds belong to the dogbane family of plants which includes the oleander and uh, all the Asclepius genus milkweeds are toxic. Uh, is that a problem if you have livestock? And the answer is no. As long as the livestock have adequate forage, they won't touch the uh, the milkweeds that are growing in the pasture. In fact, last year I saw the, the, the cattle here grazing right in this area and they didn't touch the milkweeds at all. In fact, they didn't even trample them. You know, they gingerly walked around them while they were feeding on the grasses uh, beneath. Sheep are the most sensitive to the toxins inside the, the milkweed latex. Uh, one ounce of milkweed uh, per hundred weight of uh, sheep is usually fatal to the animal. Uh, 
cows, horses are a, a lot more tolerant and resistant to the, the milkweed uh, cardiac glycosides toxins. Here's a large patch of showy milkweed on Tip Top Road near Triangle. What's unusual about this patch of Asclepias speciosa is there's two color varieties of the plant in the same location, kind of a low-lying meadow on Tip Top Road. You can see that there's uh, the white creamy colored showy milkweed flowers over here to the right and then right adjacent to it is sort of the more standard coloration of the, the flower umbel, the pinkish purple round flower head. A really, really an impressive patch of showy milkweed. This plant does spread if you cultivate it. Uh, uh, watch out, it can, it can kind of take over a yard. Uh, you can just sort of cut it back and cut off the rhizomes underneath the ground to control it. But again, uh, a very, uh, very unusual uh, patch of showy milkweed. The, uh, the white flowered showy milkweed seems to be fairly common in Mariposa County, but it's unusual in the rest of California. We're looking at a large patch of showy milkweeds uh, alongside Jerseydale Road in uh, Mariposa County. We're well into the Ponderosa Pine Forest at this elevation, uh, 4,000 feet or so. And you can see that there's quite a few seed pods that have emerged on these plants. Uh, they'll be uh, bursting open in about uh, a week or two and spreading their seeds along with the uh, fluff inside the pod. Here's a close-up of the seed pods on the showy milkweeds along Jerseydale Road in Mariposa County. Notice that the old flowers have uh, dried up and turned yellow. The uh, Along the roadside here on Old Highway, uh, approaching Bridgeport, in Mariposa County there's a really nice patch of purple milkweed or heartleaf milkweed uh, growing in the road cut. These are nice large plants, very attractive and uh, producing really large large seed pods right now in uh, uh, late June approaching July. Uh, you might wonder how many milkweeds are there in California. There are 15 species of milkweeds in the Asclepius genus in California, of which eight grow in Northern California, six grow in Mariposa and Madera counties. Uh, the uh, other two milkweeds that are not found in Mariposa County are the uh, serpentine milkweed, which grows in the coastal range north of San Francisco, a very rare plant. It's, uh, and then also there's the uh, Humboldt Mountains milkweed or pallid milkweed, which is much more widespread in the Great Basin of North America, but it's found in California just north of, of Mono Lake. The uh, serpentine milkweed of the coast range north of San Francisco is called Asclepius solanoana, and the pallid milkweed is Asclepius cryptoceras. Those are the scientific names. And this is this is a nice patch of purple milkweed outside of Bridgeport on Old Highway. Asclepius cordifolia, heartleaf or purple milkweed. I'm on road 812 north of Raymond in Madera County. Alongside the road here is a example of Asclepius cordifolia or heartleaf milkweed, sometimes called purple milkweed because of the uh, purplish tinge to the leaves that this plant has. It's one of the more attractive milkweeds. The, the leaves are attached uh, without petioles to the stem and it almost appears as if the stem pierces the, the pair of leaves that are attached opposite on the stem. Uh, this is one of the least toxic of the six Asclepius genus milkweeds that occur in the uh, Mariposa County and uh, Madera County areas. In fact, uh, a, a little bit a little bit further down the road I'm going to try and stop and find uh, some purple milkweeds uh, 
that have apparently been uh, killed off by gophers chewing at their roots. Again, this, this is one of the plants that the monarch butterflies will lay their, lay their eggs on and the caterpillars will feed on the leaves and foliage and stems of this plant throughout their life. Uh, then they'll become a pupa and eventually hatch into a butterfly. The, uh, the latex inside the plant is a mix of cardiac glycosides that uh, are ingested by the monarch caterpillars. The caterpillars themselves become toxic. They're brightly colored, black, white, and yellow striped critters. Uh, animals such as birds or mice that might be tempted to dine on a caterpillar avoid them knowing that they contain some of the toxic latex that originally came from the Asclepius genus milkweed plants. That's, a, that's the key to the relationship between the monarch butterfly caterpillars and the milkweed plants. Here along Road 812 in Madeira County is a, a dead heartleaf milkweed. This was a robust plant last year at this time, but it's uh, just a dried stalk right now. Uh, probably my best guess is that this plant was uh, attacked by gophers. You can see some sort of gopher diggings in the, in the road cut behind the plant. So being one of the least toxic of the Asclepius genus milkweeds, this uh, purple milkweed was probably the, the victim of gophers that didn't have anything better to do than try to ingest the toxic roots of this plant. Here's a nice heartleaf milkweed growing along Warman Road in southern Mariposa County. Nice big leaves as big as the as big as the palm of your hand. And this plant is flowered and now produced large seed pods. Uh, purple milkweed has these large pointed seed pods that are loaded with about 30 to 50 seeds. Uh, they burst open later in the year, in September uh, time frame, sometimes earlier August. But you'll see a large amount of fluff inside the seed pod attached to the seeds that catches the wind and helps distribute the seed. Really attractive, exotic looking plant. A great place for spotting some California milkweed, Asclepius californica, is over here in Briceburg. Uh, look at these plants. Almost nothing else is alive right now on this scorched canyon hillside. There's three Asclepius californicas right here, fine and green in midsummer. A few seed pods on them, all the flowers have dropped. Uh, the purple flowers are typical of California milkweed in Northern California. There's two subspecies of California milkweed that grow in the state. In the southern part of the state, up as far north as Kern County, you have Asclepius californica, californica proper, and then in the northern part of the state where we are in Mariposa County <clears throat> you have the subspecies called green eye. The difference is in the uh, hood uh, over, the, uh, over the flower. The uh, Southern California version of California milkweed has a pendulous hood and the green eye subspecies that grows up here typically has uh, uh, almost no uh, uh, pendulousness or droopiness on the hood. Here's a California milkweed at the very western end of the railroad flat campground in Briceburg. Uh, you can't miss this one. Uh, it's just inside the locked gate at the end of the campground. This one still has some flowers on it. I'm kind of surprised by that, but you can see the, the typically uh, purplish rose purple flowers on the California milkweed here at the uh, railroad flat campground. This plant was weed whacked you know by the BLM maintenance guys last year but the roots are very deep on these uh, Asclepius genus milkweeds and 
this guy this guy grew back and is looking pretty healthy well at least until the uh, at least until the weed whacker comes along again the uh, Native Americans used to cook the sap from California milkweeds uh, that reduces eliminates uh, the toxicity it becomes chewy and then they would mix it with berries such as from Toyon and jerky uh, like venison jerky in order to make a kind of a chewing gum I haven't tried it myself and I'm not really not really inclined to either the California milkweed here of the northern California subspecies green eye the Sclepius californica green eye uh, I'm in on Hirsch Road in Bootjack looking at a California milkweed this is a, a plant that has already flowered and has begun to produce seed pods you can see some of the seed pods here large almost almost the size of little cucumbers some yerba santa in the background there on the slope road cut uh, really nice large plant fairly similar uh, this one is this is called this California milkweed or Asclepius californica a fairly similar plant is the narrow uh, excuse me the uh, woolly milkweed Asclepius vestita the difference between the two is that the uh, California milkweed often has forked branches uh, un unlike the uh, stalks on the woolly milkweed which just grow straight out of the ground near the base of the plant also the uh, California milkweed that we're looking at here the leaves near the uh, at the uh, lower part of the stem are sessile leaves they don't really have a leaf stem or petiole uh, supporting them and connecting them to the main plant stem. The woolly milkweed, the lower lower large leaves on the woolly milkweed uh, have a short uh, petiole, uh, maybe up to a half inch long, typically. It's, it's not a hard and fast rule and you will see some variation, but unless you see the flowers on the California milkweed, which are purple in Northern California, it can be hard to distinguish this plant from the woolly milkweed which has a, a yellow cluster of flowers um, a real real nice specimen here on Hirsch Road here we're looking at a young woolly milkweed specimen on Oak Grove Road uh, scientific name is Asclepius vestita this plant is endemic to California and it, it bears quite a strong resemblance to the California milkweed. The way you can tell the difference between the woolly milkweed and the California milkweed is uh, the woolly milkweed tends to grow straight stalks out of the ground whereas the California milkweed will have typically branched stalks. Also the leaves of the the leaves of the woolly milkweed, I'm going to see if I can kind of zoom in here and get a picture the lower leaves of the woolly milkweed have a have a petiole or leaf stem uh, on them I'm not sure if yeah I can sort of show it a little bit there whereas the uh, California milkweed the leaves are attached directly to, to the stem without a uh, without a leaf stem without a petiole the California milkweed has sessile leaves uh, without a a clear petiole like the woolly milkweed. Actually the California milkweed is a little bit woollier having more more hairs on the leaves than the, the woolly milkweed but the woolly milkweed has yellow flowers unlike the purple flowers of the California milkweed and so when you see one growing in the field it has kind of a yellow bushy top which maybe gives it the look of a a, a dirty sheep uh, hence the, the name woolly milkweed. This plant is this plant is quite toxic. It contains quite a bit of the toxic latex sap that the uh, Asclepius genus milkweeds uh, have within them. Well, the last milkweed we're going to look at is one that's fairly uncommon in Mariposa County. This is uh, 
the Asclepius areocarpa or woolly pod milkweed. Uh, this, this is a small specimen uh, that I planted uh, about three years ago. It hasn't grown much, perhaps because it the seeds came from plants in Alameda County originally and maybe up here at Mid Pine Summit at an elevation around 3,100 feet. It's a little bit out of its environment. Uh, it develops long V-shaped leaves uh, when it's mature and it has a very large uh, seed pod covered with with fine hairs that keep insects away. The scientific name Asclepius areocarpa is a Latinized version of well the ancient Greek god of medicine Asclepius is the genus name and areocarpa is uh, a, a Latinization of the Greek areos meaning woolly and carpos meaning fruit or woolly fruit or woolly pod milkweed. It's a plant that should be found in the Bridgeport area of Mariposa County and possibly up in Fish Camp, but I haven't located any specimens. It, this plant was widely used by Native Americans, not only for the typical medicinal uses of the Asclepius genus milkweeds, but also because it had exceptionally strong fibers and it was woven into ropes and strings by uh, Native Americans. In fact, the Luiseno Indians of Southern California uh, wove uh, this, uh, the fibers of this milkweed into, into nets for which they would use to capture deer. They would run them down an established trail, tangle them in the net, and they were able to uh, dispatch them after that. This is uh, woolly pod milkweed. Asclepius areocarpa, not too common in Mariposa County. If anybody finds some, please let me know where you uh, where you spotted it. I'd like to uh, note the location. Good evening. Uh, we're back near to civilization once again, and on a paved road, or at least what passes for a paved road in this part of Mariposa County. You could plausibly argue that it's really just a contiguous stretch of patched potholes. We did find all six milkweeds that are native to Mariposa and Madera counties. We discussed some of the medicinal uses that people have found for the plants and also some of the uh, uses that the Native Americans made of the uh, native milkweeds. We also covered the important and critical relationship between the monarch butterfly, its caterpillars, and the Asclepius genus milkweeds. Thanks for coming along.